back your homes or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Arya Stark has overcome many obstacles in her life so far, including her escape from King's Landing after her father's death, her service to Tywin Lannister, and even all of the nonsense she got into over in Braavos. In the last season, Arya struggles to let go of her identity, eventually leading to the young lady leaving the House of Black and White and traveling back to Westeros. This is where some controversy comes in. Arya has to defeat the Waif a faceless assassin who enjoyed tracking Arya down after she failed to kill Lady Crane. If you're caught up with the series, then you already know Arya led the Waif to a dark passageway under the city where she used her sword, Needle, to kill her attacker. Arya extinguished the candle and the scene goes dark. The next thing we know is Arya has placed a new bloody face on the wall in the House of Black and White, and Jacken tells Arya that a girl has finally become no one. The problem is, none of this really makes sense. I mean, we can assume with all of the combat training from when Arya was blind, it helped her defeat the Waif in the darkness. But how did that make her no one? As far as the audience knows, Arya had used up her last opportunity to serve the mini Face god honorably. She killed Sir Marin Trant against the wishes of Jacket, and then she failed to carry out the assassination of Lady Crane. No matter how much Arya tried to dissolve her true identity, there's too much unfinished business that kept her from going full faceless assassin. So this is where the theory comes in, a theory that suggests Arya is dead and her face is being used by the Waif. I know, it sounds absolutely absurd, especially when you factor in the part where just about any character could be a faceless man disguising himself with the face of a dead character. So let's take a look at some of the evidence to support this outrageous theory. First off, Arya walks around Bravos with not a care in the world. We know that when Arya decides to find a ride back to Westeros, she isn't being very stealthy. Almost right away, the Waif, whom Arya knows is coming after her, finds the Stark Lady and stabs her in the stomach multiple times. This leads to Arya almost dying and eventually finding shelter and care from Lady Crane. Arya is medicated and falls straight to sleep. She awakes sometime later, maybe a day or two, and once again the Waif finds her and kills Lady Crane. Arya flees and the Waif follows. After a long chase, the Waif finds Arya in the dark passageway where they subsequently fight to the death. One reason why some fans believe the real Arya may be already dead is because Jacken says that she has finally become no one. And based on what we know about the mini face god and its followers, it seems more logical that he would be saying that to the Waif, who he actually gave permission to, to kill Arya. Another bit of evidence is Arya's dominant hand. Her character is left-handed. The actress who plays her, Maisie Williams, is actually right-hand dominant. So in some scenes, you can actually see Arya using her right hand instead of her left, like when she killed Sir Marin Trant. She leaps at him first with her left hand, and then finishes the kill with her right. Most scenes show Arya using her left hand as her dominant one, to keep the show as immersive as possible. But this changes a bit when Arya is trying to leave Bravos. When she throws her payment on the table of the ship captain, she uses her right hand, and her whole demeanor just seems off. She throws two bags of coins on the table with her right hand, and when she kills Walder Frey, Arya slices his throat with her right hand again. The show version of Arya seems to be ambidextrous. If it was me, I would hold the knife in my dominant hand, and this may just be conjecture on my part, but I think it provides a decent argument. Even if the Waif was using the face of Arya, it would mean that she must have killed the young Stark prior to her seeking a ride back to the homeland, unless the real Arya decided to act out in the public eye while the Waif was hunting her down. Most people who subscribe to this theory think Arya's death happened in the dark passageway under the city. Instead of Arya defeating the Waif, she was the one that died, and her face was taken afterward. Now this still makes things a little confusing, because the Arya who purchased a cabin on a ship is supposedly the same Arya who was stabbed by the Waif. And if that Arya was supposedly the Waif in disguise, then who really stabbed her? Was it Jacken? And how do we know Jacken is the same Jacken that befriended Arya in Westeros? Well, we don't. And that's the main thing. With the faceless men serving the mini face god, we can never be sure who is really what they claim to be. It looks like Arya is still alive and she is actively marking off names on her list. 
It's probably not the way fusing her face to get further ahead in the world, but we can't be sure. What do you think about the Faceless Men? Is one of the main characters really dead and being portrayed by someone completely unknown? Let me know your thoughts. As always, have a great day, take care, and I will see you tomorrow.